Hi everyone, so today we're going to talk about uh, animating overlaps and how to actually animate swinging uh, of the arms. Uh, it might be hard for some of the people, so that's why I've decided to shoot a video for you. Yeah, let's get started. In this animation, in this quick, quick introduction, we'll try to uh, use animation without uh, following the reference, okay? I mean, that's... Uh, because some of the students uh, are so uh, focused on following the reference, there are like different actually situations. One of the students are not totally following the reference and others just, you know, they really focus on uh, reference and uh, copying stuff. And then when they have to do something from their, like from their imagination, from the, their heads, then it starts to become uh, problematic for them. Yeah, but there is a solution for that. Uh, stay tuned with me, okay, I will show it to you. So what we are going to do is, is we are going to create a swing from this position to like a like loose position next to the torso. So as a starting point, make sure you, uh, you set up F key hand for your uh, no rig. So I've just selected everything right now and I created the first frame for me okay and from this position I will do the swing I'm creating the first frame by from you know by eye actually <laughs> so right now yeah I think it's pretty good timing <laughs> to be honest okay and how to create the swing is that will be our you know, second pose and I'm also creating some overlap on the palm and get the shoulder so okay I've created this first pose right now I've added some motion on the shoulder here and maybe get some small influence on the chest okay because we have to make sure that those limbs are connected with each other. Okay. Maybe here also. So I have to make it him straight right now. Okay, and let's create another pose. Uh, somewhere here, it will be like decelerating. Set up this if uh, if you're selecting mesh and it's, because sometimes it's annoying. And again, shoulder, right, shoulder forward. And some small rotation on the torso. Here we want to have clear difference between, so between sh shoulder position. So I will lift the shoulder here and during this movement, he has to make a big drop. So also rotate the hand on the different angle. So let's say um, this is our third pose. So this animation is really uh, similar to the pendulum assignment, that's why it's crucial to just try, uh, you know, uh, try a pendulum. And I've made the video already, uh, so you can check this out. And it's about nailing the overlaps. Okay, so we have this, this, and then let's go back. 
so you know what you don't have to create a new post from here you can just create a somewhere be something between these two poses i will create a key cut it and place it here Okay, so you know it's already uh, most of the work is already done, but I would just get this, maybe get some uh, imperfection, and then we can maybe copy the post here, cut it, paste it. And yeah, I will just create a pose here or maybe here instead. Not perfectly on the middle. <laughs> okay, and the this zero pose has to be, you know, uh, like loose okay so let's take a look from our blocking okay <laughs> completely disaster okay so that's why because i think this is irrelevant here we don't want to have such a small you know movements And I think just maybe this one is already too much. So I've just set the key here, copy and paste. And also this going back is too sharp. I'll just smooth it. So paste, you know, decrease the value and I would also delay. Starts working. Okay, so what we need to do is create maybe an additional frame here when the hand will be like that, when we create an overlap for our hand. Okay, so somewhere like this. Okay, you see, it's starting to, um, to work, to, to look pretty cool. So what is an overlap is the fact that you have to treat it like a chain, okay? So I will just draw it simple sketch for you. Our body has is like a let's say chain, okay? So right now you your chest is the source of the movement because it's like a um you know keeping everything together, let's say. And from from this from the chest there is a like a one chain, okay, and then another, another bone, and and the palm, okay, and if you see it like this, then you start noticing that okay, it looks pretty similar to the pendulum, right? And um, so, of course, because the chest will, you know, create a movement, this will move as a first, because it's the closest to the source of the movement then this one will move as, as a second one and this one will move as a third one and we need to see that clearly and we need to make sure that our hand is not moving like a one solid block like that it's it's gonna look ugly so we need to create this you know separation between body parts okay i think it's hopefully it's clear because we wanted to emphasize that here elbow 
is actually leading the action okay and we also wanted to make sure that um, it's not going this way because uh, you know it's loose and elbow has to go uh, just closer to the body because it's it weights okay and same here I will just make sure that it's going closer to the body here and then it can go further I want to add some additional like a uh, rotation on that palm and then here I will also add some rotation make sure it's getting closer to the torso I think I, I can add some uh, small movement on the chest as a reaction okay to that um, okay here I can maybe add some also movement on the chest so you don't want you don't need to actually move here okay this would the, the whole torso you can just move the basically the, the upper chest here okay so don't worry about it okay and if, if we are moving chest chest uh, of course you want to move it not only in one axis like like that but also but also here and that also I will create some you know like a refinement on the palm on the palm and make sure that this act this is closer to my torso and here I want to make this uh, palm looks uh, loose okay so that's why I will just go here and make it closer to the torso okay so it looks pretty cool and right now we can check this out on graph editor and we will smooth all the curves here you, you see you start probably noticing that no, it's not soft. We can just make it much, much softer. Mm, from here also, okay? If you want to smooth it quickly, you just select this and set auto, okay? As a last movement, it can be much, much smaller. Same with this one. Did it translation? Okay, and here another part. make it smaller and shoulder whoa okay of course yes it could be much much softer in some parts okay you see just by smoothing the curves it's already much 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 softer and let's go with the palm same stuff and of course here you can see that the values are totally you know wrong so here this is just before uh, you know, this swing is like uh, much much earlier and it's almost the same uh, with the same value like like the last one <laughs> so we need to decrease the last one of course just push it inverse here just decrease it and maybe do something like this instead okay same, same with here and 
and here also. Okay, and right now I would just go with the chest, try to do something like this also. Here, I think you can just rotate more on this. If you want to be more precise, then just press plus and rotation, you know, and manipulator will be larger. Okay, and let's, on the graph editor, let's press auto. Here you can see, yep, this one. Here's a huge difference. Mm, okay, here, of course, we can do that. Okay, and this has to be smaller. Okay, great. So right now, as what we want to do is create an offset. And the chest as a source of the movement will move first, then the shoulder, then the you know, um, this part of the hand, uh, elbow and palm. So let's do it because it's we have to treat it as a, like a like a chain. So I will just select this, this one. Like that, and I will offset it by two frames. Then again, here offset by two frames, or maybe one frame. Here we want to have actually big difference, and I won't do this here because we've already created this offset, you know, this frame. So I'll just start from here. And I will create a like one, two, three frame offset. Same with here, or just maybe three or two. But yeah, let's do it three. Yeah, let's check this out right now. Okay, much more organic. I think it's yeah, it's even maybe yeah it's like really loose okay let's say okay i think that's it uh, from this video and if you have some questions let me know in the comment so what i'm doing is i'm helping people get to the industry maybe you have some other questions to me or maybe you are lost in, in, in your animation journey or uh, career and you want someone to take a look on your stuff, uh, give you some advice, then what you can do is schedule a free consultation call with me. The link is down below on the video. I can give you some feedback for, for your works. Also, get you some personalized advice. This is totally for free. I'm doing this by myself, so spots are limited. Mm, but if the link still works, that means that we can still talk. Thank you for today and see you on the call.